Hello friends, I am Privy Imran and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about a question which is given in J Mains 2025. And the question is, the value of the limit n tends to infinite, sigma k equal to 1 to n, k cube plus 6k square plus 11k plus 5 divided by k plus 3 factor release. And again, here four options are given below as you can able to observe. Now let me solve this question. First of all, let me write the my given function limit n tends to infinite sigma k equal to 1 to n k cube plus 6k square plus 11k plus 5 divided by k plus 3 whole factorial. Now let me find the factors of this cubic equation. So let me find uh, factors here. So 1, 6, 11 and again 5. Let me take here 1. So here uh, obviously it is a 0. 1 plus 0, 1. 1 into 1, 1. 1 plus 6 value 7. 7, 1, 0, 7. 11 plus 7 value 18. 18, 1, 0, 18. Eh? So hence this value obviously it is not equal to 0. Now let me take here uh, minus 1. Eh? So 1, 6, 11 and again 5. Now let me take here minus 1 and 0. 1 plus 0 value is 1. Minus 1 into 1 value is minus 1. 6 minus 1 value is a 5. Minus 1 into 5 value is a minus 5. 11 minus 5 value is a 6. And minus 1 into 6 value is a minus 6. So if you observe here, I got here as minus 1. So to make this minus 1 as a 0, this minus 1 as a 0, so let me add here a plus 1. So 5 plus 1 value will be equal to 6. Then 6 minus 6 value will be equal to 0. Hence, I came to know that here I have to add 1 and subtract 1. Okay, let me add and subtract 1. So limit n tends to infinite sigma k equal to 1 to n then k cube plus 6k square plus 11k plus plus I have 5 so I have added and subtracted 1 so I will write it as 6 and again minus 1 divided by k plus 3 whole factorial now let me split the numerator, let me write this minus 1 as here, minus 1 by k plus 3 whole factorial. Now here k cube plus 6k square plus 11k plus 6 can be written as k plus 1 into here as we can see here k square plus 5k plus 6. So let me write here k plus 1 into and again here k square plus 5k plus 6 can be written as k plus 2 into k plus 3. So let me write here k plus 2 into k plus 3. So k plus 2 into k plus 3 whole divided by here I have k plus 3 factorial. Let me expand this factorial. So it can be written as k plus 3 into k plus 2 into k plus 1 into k factorial minus 1 by k plus 3 factorial where limit n tends to infinite sigma k equal to 1 to n. Now if you observe here there are some cancellations let me cancel out. So the remaining terms let me write here limit n tends to infinite sigma k equal to 1 to n here 1 by k factorial minus 1 by k plus 3 whole factorial. Now let me expand this summation then it can be written as 1 by 1 factorial plus 1 by 2 factorial plus 1 by 3 factorial plus 1 by 4 factorial plus so on it will reach to infinite minus and again if I substitute k value as 1 here 
it starts from 4 factorial so here 1 by 4 factorial plus 1 by 5 factorial plus 1 by 6 factorial and again this one also will go, will reach to infinite now if you observe here these terms will get cancelled here these terms will get cancelled here both terms will get cancelled hence my remaining terms are 1 plus 1 by 2 plus 3 factorial value is a 6 hence let me take here a 6 as LCM then 6 plus 3 plus 1 hence my answer is 10 by 6 so if we cancel now 5 by 3 now if you see in the options my option is option A 